What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about some of the games that I wish existed. Let's get right into this. So recently I've been thinking about the games that either A, have not been released whenever they were in production, they got cancelled, or ones that I wish were created and released. So I decided to piece together and put out this video, because it honestly will be a lot of fun. The first game on my list is Overkill's The Walking Dead. This was a game that they even put out a trailer for, they announced when it was supposed to be released, and there was a lot of build up and hype behind this game, mainly because it was supposed to be and rumored to be a open world Walking Dead game that looked like it was going to be a lot of fun. I believe this was released either on Steam or on PC, but it never made its way to console and I think in total it ended up getting scrapped completely. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I really wish I was able to play this game on the PlayStation 4 because it looks like it was going to be amazing. Now there's a lot of rumors as to why this game was never released on console. Some of those have to do with with the Walking Dead TV show ending after the 11th season. Some people think that they did not want to go ahead and go through with making an open world video game for that. While others believe that the reason why it was never released to console is because they were not able to make it console worthy. It was easier for them to create it for PC and not to convert it. So they decided just to scrap it. And I believe there were some issues with the company as well. And they decided not to even go through with this game, unfortunately. It honestly looked like it was going to be a great game. I absolutely loved the trailers for the game and everything that was released for the game and announced for the game, except this game will unfortunately never happen. And now that the TV show is going to be ending very soon, it likely is not going to happen ever again. The next game is a game that was supposed to be released on the PlayStation 3. Now I don't have too much information on the game other than it was going to be titled Heist. And you guys absolutely know, if you guys are not new to the channel, that I absolutely love heist movies, video games, and everything like that. I love Grand Theft Auto V for the heists. I loved Payday 2. I absolutely love playing that with the heists. So a heist game on the PlayStation 3 would definitely be amazing, especially if it had nothing but heists to do. There's no information of what era this game was going to be. There's no information of what kind of heists it was set up to be, if it was going to be an open world, if it was going to be you get to select like Payday, you get to select the heists that you do, or if it's just going to be like a campaign where you go through it. Either way, I think I 100% would have been on board for it. Unfortunately, this game was scrapped. The next game for me is one that I honestly was expecting and really, really wanted, and that is Call of Duty Ghosts 2. I know Ghosts had a whole bunch of hate back in the day when it was released. It was originally released on the PlayStation 3, made its way over to the PS4 after the PS4 was released, but a lot of people still hated it, and I think, honestly, it just had to do with a lot of people not wanting changes. Call of Duty Ghosts, I believe, is the first Call of Duty game where the map online will change as you progress through whatever game mode you are playing with a whole bunch of stuff in the environment exploding and map changing and a lot of people hated that. Another big change is they did not have zombies this year instead they had an alien mode which I've never been a fan of zombies at all in Call of Duty. I don't really like it. It's not really my thing. I like zombies in other video games just not Call of Duty but the alien mode in Call of Duty Ghosts was amazing. I had such a blast back in the day playing this with my friends and going through because it was a lot more in depth and a very, very special twist on the classic zombie mode, which most people liked. I, on the other hand, did not. I honestly was expecting Call of Duty Ghosts 2 to be announced and released a while back. Now it's been this long and it had so much hate back in the day. I think Call of Duty has moved on and I doubt they're ever going to release this game. But if they ever did, it would definitely be something that would bring me back to the Call of Duty franchise because for years now, I've not went back to Call of Duty because I don't like how they do things now with everything being more based on futuristic. So I went back to Battlefield instead of Call of Duty. But if they brought out Call of Duty Ghosts 2 and announced it, you better believe I would be back on board with Call of Duty at least for this game. And the last game on this list might get a lot of hate, but that is WWE 2K21. This game was scrapped before it was even announced because of how bad 
WWE 2K20 was with gameplay, with crashes, and everything else that had to do with this game. For me personally, WWE 2K20 was a pretty good game. I did platinum the game. All the trophies worked for me. Nothing really glitched out for me that I use. And the main thing that I play on it right now is WWE Universe Mode. I basically just go make my own pay-per-views, custom pay-per-views, custom attires, custom championships, and play. And I honestly haven't experienced any crashes, which is why I want to add WWE 2K21 to this list because I think with an updated roster, that would have been amazing. And even though it still might have been glitched, Glitchy, I think it still would have been a great game. Now, WWE 2K Battlegrounds did come out. That's not really a WWE game that I'm really interested in. I would have rathered one of their annual games for universe mode and career mode, but it still was a nice twist. And I understand why they decided not to put out WWE 2K21 because they wanted to take a break learn from their mistakes from the previous year, and move on and come back with a better game. I just hope that WWE keeps 2K being the ones that make their games. I absolutely loved back in the day when it was THQ. Of course, there was hiccups whenever 2K first took over, but that's because they were still using THQ servers. But once 2K was fully on board and making the WWE game solely with all of their tech, Everything worked out perfectly. I absolutely love the games. It's just unfortunate what happened with WWE 2K20. So this is my list as of right now for the games that I honestly wish existed, whether they were games that were never released or scrapped early on, or ones that were never really actually going to happen. These are the games that I really think I would have loved if they were released, and I probably would have purchased them and played them and absolutely loved them if they were done right. Comment down below the games that you wish existed, whether it being one that never were released or ones that are never going to be released and i'll see you guys in the next video please take care peace